for joining us for another episode of Danganronpa 2. Uh, we are about to play the uh, Twilight uh, Forbid Twilight Sendum Forbidden Urban Legend in 240p. Um, okay. Oh, that 240p. Yeah, it's like the title of it's so blurry, it's hard for me to read. Yeah. I might just get a game over again. Before I start, I should ask Chiaki if there's a walkthrough for this game. <laughs> Why are you just gonna pull it up on your phone? <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Huh? I feel there like I'm are. gonna repeat the second day and fourth day again, and then get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? When you get a game over, that is the walkthrough. Oh, damn! That doesn't make sense. <laughs> That's not what walkthrough means. That's- huh? no, she's- she's mm. telling you to get good. Do you, to tell you? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? See? You should have seen it too. You know, the thing that was displayed over the game over screen. Is that... Are you talking about the message that says down five? Right. Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down five drinks or something. Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shit. We fucked up. It means you have yeah, to Mega's press. <laughs> it means you have to press down five times. Fuck is possible because they the hidden command is. is you just have to press the down button five times when you're on the title screen. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just as I expected of the ultimate gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just, you either get it or you don't. <laughs> she called us stupid. Damn. In fact, Naito got it on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. I'm just so perfect like that. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I don't feel, don't feel bad, Hajime. So how's the Tomagachi doing? Dead. Uh, <laughs> Still a I'm snake, sure. I think. I don't think we paid attention to it at all last last episode. We looked at it. Damn, that's because I was in there. Exactly. We looked at it, we looked at it twice. Also did the game live yeah. because it said that it bears no resemblance to people alive or dead, but like we said that it did. Yeah. No, it, it, it said that it did anymore. resemble. Oh. Yeah, alright. It's well. like, in case this resembles anyone, this is a work of fiction, and it was purely intentional, which is like... <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the yeah. of everything else you see. Man. I need to press down five times on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. With your own hands. Damn. <laughs> Grab Mira's paw, we gotta do Whoa. it. Whoa. Oh, damn. Screen change. She was right. This is the real game. Twilight Syndrome's Murder Case Truth Edition. Oh, hey, it's uh, Hope Speak in the background. Oh, yeah. The background color changed. Should start it up. I need to find... I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press the ENTER key, right? Mm. With your own hands. As opposed to someone else's hands. <laughs> the game like fucking closes if you don't use your own hands or something. It has like biometric readings on your keyboard. Damn. We Advanced. Your own hand. Yeah. With your own hand. He opened with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police ruled the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind that incident. Even before the janitor first discovered the body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. The students were the five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in the incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were first to discover it. However, tragedy befell those girls. Several days after the incident, one of the five girls, girl E, is murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this once peaceful academy? By playing the missing first day and third day, you will be able to understand that mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in the truth edition. Do you be able to reach the truth? 
Now then, let's start with the first day where it all began. Ugh, that was painful to read. It's like, it's like reading Star Wars and just like, you're going a little too fast, right? Yeah, but without, the style, without the style of Star Wars. I need a fucking ladder. Oh my god. Uh, Who's girl A? We're doing this again? Yeah. <laughs> fucking doing this shit? I all forget right. who girl A was. I'm really sorry it for keeping Aaron. you all waiting. Come on, girl B. You don't have to be that mad. What was that? <laughs> hey. Oh, that was taking a photo. Don't mind. Don't go taking photos without permission. People might mistake us for good friends. Looks Jesus like Christ. Damn, social media is smart, mean, girl. You know? It looked like a flashbang. She just like threw something on the floor. I know. <laughs> Hey, the graphics are are very primitive, okay. For this time, friend? this is for this time, this is state of the art. I'm not your friend. <laughs> what? There's no way I was gonna be friends with a nasty, trashy, pig shit like you. Yeah, okay, oh, damn. Damn. Okay, that's clearly, okay, that's clearly that, that that's that's clearly Rated Sionji. M for mature. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the way girl B treats people, even lone sarks looking to collect would get sick to their stomachs. Jesus. Are you here? I don't blame her, it's a toxic environment. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, apparently C forgot something. C told us to wait a little longer. She can't find her school swimsuit. Her swimsuit? Hmm, <laughs> maybe got Stolen. You don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. <laughs> you should be super careful, girl A. A chubby weakling like you makes the perfect prey. Look at the twig. Damn, Ed's always getting Step these on you. assholes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's really awesome. Stop it. Girl A is getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. She's a weak piece of shit. Jesus! <laughs> what was that sound? It sounded like glass breaking. It sounded like it came from the second floor. Let's go! It's getting. <laughs> Get this brain. Girl, like, you know, casually walks down the up, up. <laughs> All the way up to the second floor. Is this theme that like a- That fucking legs, though. I can't is, get over it. Is this theme like a parody of something? I'm not really sure. Probably be like, corpse party, maybe? I don't know. Or it long tower. It's kind of like Fatal Frame. Like oh, that first... too, yeah. Probably. But, but, but this is- the but, but, I'm sorry. The... It's but, 2D, but, but the, the models look like yeah. Fatal Frame, kind of. Like the old ones. Yeah. Mm. Really? It kind of does. Like if you if you look at the older PlayStation One ones, I thought Fatal Frame was PS Two only. I thought they had them on PlayStation One. I'm thinking of a different game. And maybe they did only put them on PlayStation maybe, Two. Maybe you got mixed up with a Clock Tower or something. Yeah, I'm thinking Clock Tower, but I never actually played Clock Tower. Girl, it's an interesting series. Uh, I don't know. I went by the front of the music room just now. Still can't with the <laughs> And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. He's so tiny. You're right, it's locked. <laughs> Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Maybe it's just time to go home. They lock the doors. Um, if we use the key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the key to the music room. Wouldn't it be better to get an adult? The teachers are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. Well, that rules out. After school hours. But 
I have a bad feeling about this. Let's go on this out. Key, no, stop. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was like super easy to get. Can you then let's open it right away. There's no adults. Because when I was in clubs, you had to have at least like a, you know, like a supervising teacher. Uh, these girls are built different. Yeah, Japanese anime schools are built different. <laughs> okay. Girl A, you lead the way because I don't want to die first. Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. Blow <laughs> poke. How do I go in? Oh, wait, wait. What is this? <laughs> so <laughs> awkward, dude. Oh, nothing, nothing out of order here. Or maybe they're taking it now. Who's girl A? They got tired from playing the piano. Someone's laying on the floor. Maybe they're taking a nap. She's not laying down. She fucking dead. <laughs> dead? That's impossible. Why? <laughs> Give me your best anime girl. Yeah, you got, you got Chris. I'm I think I got Chris. Chris, Chris. Chris yeah. probably killed it. Okay. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Lower your voice. There's so much nearby. N -n 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 nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. It's just like the baseball team just sent one through the window. Murdered? Oh. Huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? I wish they would notice me like Senpai. What should we do? Oh, what should I do? Ellipses. I see what happened. I found it. The killer blah blah blah. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. I like I like click too fast. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it back up. Oh, it yeah. said it said escape That's route. Right. That's right. It said escape all, route. All that it says is like you found the escape route. <laughs> what do we do now? Uh, I think go to the window. Talk to the window. Oh. Talk to the window. Mm -hmm. Can you jump out the window? <laughs> I didn't notice till now. Yeah. <laughs> the the sound we heard from the entrance hall was probably the window breaking. Someone in quotations probably locked the music room door from the inside after killing this girl. How do I know? I'm too smart for you guys. They broke the window and escaped outside. Looks like she got hit by something and she died. But I can't seem to find any any um no, sorry anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? Are you the killer, girl A? So the killer just ran out the window. They just wanted to run away. They could have opened the window. Why did they have to break it? Uh, the, the, they were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The the fish tank by the window is is tipped over, and all the gravel is scattered. They must have accidentally tripped it over because they were a clumsy bastard when they were frantically trying to get away. Triple J. Oh, snap. <laughs> it, it's not too high to jump from the second floor, so 
Maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the high hallway. <laughs> highway. <laughs> yeah, really the hallway, bro. <laughs> Seems kind of complicated. I mean, to lock the door, you have to either lock it from inside the music room or use the lounge key. Oh, when I went to get the music room key, it was in the teacher's lounge. So the killer wouldn't have the time to return the key before they broke the window. Then the girl could have been locked from the inside. That means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. We didn't even- we- I'm sorry, bleh. We didn't see anyone pass by. Which means the killer can only- only escape route was this window. Troopa again. It, it's probably that pervert I heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Have the memory fish. I know we just talked about this. My school swimsuit was stolen. I couldn't find it anywhere. Then, the pervert who stole girl is stole swimsuit also murdered that girl over there? They probably locked the music room so they could- oh god. What, uh, what the hell kind of turn is this? They frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped. It's bad if we stay here much longer, right? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and uh, the killer might still be around, too. That's bad. Uber bad. You better hurry up and run. Gets murdered. <laughs> <laughs> don't we have to report this to the police? Uh, don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the prime suspect just because you found the body first, stupid. I definitely don't want that. Definitely watch their Wow, is that a self-report? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Unfortunately, due to Among Us-like logic, it'd be best if we left this room how we found it. Just lock the door and leave everything how it was. Don't be a stupid Bitch. Please wait, don't leave me! Ellipses. <laughs> Girl D! Sorry, did I make you wait? So, what's up, girl? You asked me to meet here. Don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Oh, God. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom as I was going home. And I couldn't help taking a picture. What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? That sound we heard from the entrance hall wasn't the sound of a window breaking. What, what is this? I, I don't know anything about this vase. You're crazy. And if that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I, I don't know anything. You're crazy. <laughs> it's okay. I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If anyone found it, you'd be in trouble. Right, girl E? Uh, what the? 
Are you trying to blackmail me, girl? <laughs> of course not. That's not what this is about. If there's something you're hiding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You, you, you didn't say anything either. I knew, you know, I knew that girl who got killed was tormenting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just tormenting you. She was seriously fucked up, making your life a living hell. That bitch was in your photography club back in the middle, back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. Girl E, d don't tell me you. That bitch thought she could do anything she wanted because of her family's influence. And I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she'd target me next time, so I felt a sudden rage. And before I knew it, I was choking her. Right. And then <laughs> she lost consciousness, but uh, things would have been worse if she woke up, so... So that's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault, or yours. It's all her fault. Fuck her. Not exactly. Girl E. <laughs> what the fuck? Girl E sucks. Didn't she just jump over the more like she, More like she straight up admitted it. Oh my god, this <laughs> guy got it. Oh my god. <laughs> Why, well, bitch. Girl, girl E, was it? <laughs> Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. I know, brother. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be? The sound of breaking glass was actually this? Why do I sound oh, like? No, now it sounds like. Goofy. I know it sounds like Goofy. Yeah. If it wasn't, I don't like it. If it wasn't, why'd she try to secretly get rid of this? Huh? That so goofy on trial. <laughs> that bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. <gasps> oh. And that bitch really did that. Oh damn. I will never. I will never forgive her. Damn. <laughs> In clear. Holy shit. Okay, but I'm just trying to represent in our class, though. Hmm. Looks like this is the end. Might be due. That's right. That's the truth edition. The incident's first day and third day are depicted in it. Yep. Yep. Now that you filled in all four days from the first day to the fourth day. Hey Chiaki, do you think of these char of the uh, what do you think of the characters in this game? You mean like girl A and girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. <laughs> no such thing, bro. <laughs> While you were talking, looks like the ending staff's roll started. Staff roll? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you look at it, probably. What I want to know is on the staff roll? Imagine. It's me! You do a group project by yourself. Graphics. He's Tommy Maso of gaming. Cast. Sumiki, oh that's Mikan, uh, Koizumi, Hiyoko, mm, Miyota, Miyota, that's a Sato. Buki, Sato, Kuzuru, and Kuzuru, oh yeah, that's Hiko, and yeah. So it's two of them with the same last name, that means he had a sibling. Hiko said he had a sister like way back. 
Oh, yeah. we did. Holy yeah. shit! So she's no. she's dead then, right? His sister's maybe. dead. I mean, maybe. We can't confirm anything yet. Was the person taking pictures? Was that girl D? Can we assume that was? Uh, uh it wasn't. Oh, you can't. No, that's well, you... not Mahiru. Mahiru's the one who's like. Wait, I'm super confused. I thought my my hero's name was in there. Deep. Yeah, my, yeah, it was uh, my hero's last name's Koizumi. So yeah, yeah, wasn't she, was in she there. the girl who didn't have a letter, but she was like dead? No, she's not dead. She's the girl who's taking photos all the time. I think I that was girl. I don't. What, were they supposed to? Was the staff credit supposed to be in order though? It could be mixed. I thought they it didn't... might need to be in order. Yeah, I don't know. I could. Just it I makes sense that girl A would I guess, be, I guess um, it's, uh, yeah, girl A would be Mikan, girl B. Yeah. Uh, well, well, Ed's, Ed's girl B was obviously Yoko, because he yeah. yeah, and like, everybody kept making fun of girl A, so it probably was Mikan. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they call her like a bitch and that she's fat and all this, and it's like, yeah, it's probably Mikan. Yeah, that, it definitely, yeah. Yep, that's me, so nothing's changed. Yeah, pretty much. That means guy yeah. F would be, um... Uh, Fuyuhiko. Fuyuhiko, yeah. Fuyuhiko, yeah, which means... What the hell? No, Fuyuhiko, don't be the killer! Fuyuhiko's the killer. Okay. Alright, let's... They'll probably explain it. How Wait, just now. See? See? Didn't I tell you? What you want to know is going to be on there. How the fuck would they have predicted this, though? Because this was Yay. before the murder. Congratulations! Congrats, Miracle! Congratulations! You've finally beaten Twilight Syndrome murder case! It's a, it's a motive, not like, uh... Yeah. It fact. just means that, yeah, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. sister was killed before they ever came to this island. That makes sense, I guess. Maybe. Now that you guys have played this game through to the end, you should already know... That's right, this game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past incident. Is that true? By the way... By the way, non-fiction <laughs> means an original story based on historical fact or record. Thanks for being Hey, explaining. answer my question. <laughs> but even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it. Well, eh, that can't be helped. The school of life you no longer remember is the setting for the story. Our school life? Isn't that wonderful? At any rate, congratulations! Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game... Yeah. I won't do it. I won't <laughs> give it to you. Ending prize? <laughs> there was only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. Too bad! <laughs> How disappointing. Yep. Did you oh, say ending no. prize? Did you say Fuyuhiko is like really or good at games? Nagi. They never said. No, Chiaki, Chiaki's the only one who's good at games in this. Uh, but Fuyuhiko beat it before her. Wait, 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 wait. Someone or someone beat it before the memories, her. And then because he got the memories, he flipped his shit and killed people? Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. We'll just have to see, gang. So, wait. Maybe it was just Ooh. a bat. I don't know. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Uh, oh. <laughs> you know what's a bigger mystery? What? The Tamagotchi? What the Tamagotchi doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn, we called need to know. out. <laughs> the say that it seems to be pulling really hard for Fuyuhiko, but I feel like that's too easy. And there's something else because it's there's too a obvious. Bunch of that... Red herring set up yeah. here because we know that Akane yeah. had blood on her, and we know really that we saw Yoko running away crying. Mm. So there's yeah. obviously going to be a trick. Also, what's her name was like swimming, and her footprints are around, but she kind of had a reason. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, was she really mm. swimming, or did she like wash off any evidence? Yeah. yeah. Don't know. Uh, like. I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Aww. Yeah, that was too late. If I'd played something like this, if I'd known to, something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. Even though we all promised not to play it. Damn. But the ending prize isn't the problem. 
It's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. That's what I thought. So it's connected to that to that this time too. But is it really is it really true? We were already living our school lives and our memories were completely taken? Is something that crazy actually possible? And what did they do to us? You... It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Perhaps. Monokuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's beaten the game. That this game is non-fiction. That it's the missing link that existed in our forgotten school memories. So do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories were taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about that right now, we gotta focus on solving this mystery first. Whether we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. That's the case, and I need to I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. You're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Then I'll go too. That's right. If I get some information from them, I might find out about something. About the mystery behind Mahiru's death. About whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey. Then let's hurry and ask the others. <laughs> and while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. Leave it to me. Ah, uh, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see. Thanks. That's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything if we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Hello there. God damn it. <laughs> Why? Hello. Hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. You were waiting at the exit. Exactly. Timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, weren't you? Uh, so you caught me? Wouldn't it be best if we traveled together? If you be in the game, we must think similarly, right? Man. Right? Nah. Maybe I'm being a bit too conceited. A guy like me, thinking similarly to you guys. It's okay, just make your point. Well, there is an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Huh? You don't know? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. Oh wow, we can get an autograph. The girls must be busy with their investigations too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? And Bye fuck now. their autograph, that game sucked. If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. Damn. What should we do? Hmm. hmm, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. This wave in the background is making me feel like we're about to be engulfed in a tidal wave. <laughs> it's very yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's still snack, so. Yeah. yeah, snacks don't poop. It's okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> don't they like vomit? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I hear her die the last yes, you do. time. That's the photographer girl. Red Deer Girl, we just found her. I'll pull up her report card. Scottish Ooh. Ray. Uh, guys? Oh no, she guys? did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay. Her blood type was A. This is such a tragedy. Oh my god. <laughs> Traveling alone dislikes bad manners. That's oh wait, bad yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm still alive. Oversized things of Mekon, why? I am. Um, like squishy, squishy. Squishy, squishy. Squishing squish, squish, squish ants, yeah. Yeah, dislikes lectures and sour stuff, yeah. Four foot two? Holy shit. That is yeah. tiny. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, well, wait a minute. That's because that's that's she's girl B, B, right? B. Yep. Well, her wait, blood type's A, type but. Oh, I don't think C is a blood type. C is a blood type. It's A, B, C, A, B, and my brain. It's so good. Yeah, like I'm on to something. I like what you were doing there. I'm drinking hard seltzer and my brain kind of did. Oh man, that hard seltzer really did you in. 
Don't, don't, don't sure, worry, Kayla. Sure, blame the hard sell, this, sir. Don't worry, Kayla. That's, that slip up is okay. just a stepping stone for you to achieve your own hope. Uh, Making a new blood type. I guess if you added uh, your own glycoproteins to your red blood cells, you'd make a new. Okay. That's how we survived the uh, zombie apocalypse. Uh, Hajime, over here. Nikon, Ibuki, Hiyoko are all here. The names on the staff for for Twilight Syndrome murder case were Tsumiki, Koizumi, Sanji, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuru. Wow. I, I really wanted Fuyuhiko. First name. Yeah, I really wanted Fuyuhiko to come too, but he locked himself in his cottage and wouldn't come out for me. Wait, who is Sato? Uh, Sato, you don't know. No, oh, okay. Which character was that then? Uh, girl E. Oh, okay. Must be the Sorry. sibling. No, the sibling would no, be the no, girl. Wait, dead. Just kidding, that's the fucking murderer from the past. Oh wait, wait, girl E died in the on the fourth day, so yes, I don't So dead. she's someone who was involved. She murdered. Yeah, she murdered her, and, and she herself got murdered. So unfortunately, he's absent. It's probably because I'm so incompetent. I apologize. I'm right. Says you get executed uh, if you didn't come. Executed. <laughs> uh, you, and... oh. you said Matakuma ha had something important to tell us, right? We, we, we came because you told us that. I'm very scared. God damn it! <laughs> right? That was a lie. <laughs> oh God! A lie? Why? You tricked us! Okay. <laughs> what the heck? I wanted to Fine. I'm leaving. Wait. Can you wait until we finish our business with you? Right, Hajime? This is like I'm on the same team as Nagito. Isn't it cool? No, I can't focus on that right now. I have to get the information from them. Hey, Ibuki, can I ask you something? Why you? Bring it on! <laughs> Have you played Twilight Cinema Murder Case Truth Edition? Aww. Well, that's a computer game, right? I'm basically awful at those things. Ibuki's a tough girl, so I don't touch anything powered by electricity except electric guitars. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but now's not the time to really dwell on something like that. Our unique tone and hyper energy. There was a character like that in the game too. Let me ask you one more thing. What's the relationship between you and Mahiru? <laughs> huh? You mean that in a perverted way? <laughs> Goodness gracious. No, in a normal way. Aww. Well, even if you ask me that, Ibuki's encounter with Mahiru was. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Ah. When I asked Mahiru this morning to go to the beach with us, she made this real disappointing face. A disappointing face? I see. I yeah, see. but disappointment varies depending on the person Ibuki associates it with. Department store rooftops. What? Wait. <laughs> I said what I said. I'm trying <laughs> to, like, I know, I'm trying to, like, make sense out of it. <laughs> Let's stay focused on Mahiru. That's totally it! It turns out, Mahiru had some business too, and she wanted to invite me that instead. She said something like, I was thinking about meeting with everyone, but if you already have plans... <laughs> yeah, that's a good impression. <laughs> um, do you know what she meant by everyone? No, I didn't ask. I see. Mahiru invited Ibuki. Why? I have nothing to say to a poop regular people like you. <laughs> regular, huh? She's right that I might be a regular guy, but I also have an ultimate talent, or at least I should have one. Well, well that was useless. Yeah. Airplanes. Hey, do you have a minute? There's something I wanted to ask you. Have you played Twilight Center Murder Case, Mikan? Um, since, since 
we weren't going to play that game. So I'm not really good at video games. I'm kind of a button masher. I'm pretty slow and I panic instantly. Her tone. I'm pretty sure that girl A character was like that too. Hey, hey. Anyway, can you tell me about your relationship with Mahiru? Relationship <laughs> with Mahiru? I, I, I first met her um when we first gathered at the classroom with everyone else. And, and after arriving at the island, I did have a few conversations with her, but... Oh, could it be? Did my hero hate me? <laughs> no, it's definitely yeah, she hated me. Nobody loves me. She doesn't know anything. No, it's more like she doesn't remember anything. But even though she... Oh, it's you. But, but she hit for her to actually invite me. She must have been a really kind person. And vibe. Well, the hero invited me this morning. This morning? She looked very serious, and she was wondering if we could all meet up so she could discuss something. But, but I already had plans to go to the beach, so I had to decline, because I needed to prepare for that. And when I did, she made this lonely face that said she'll reschedule for another day. But if only I went with her, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> My hero invited me, Khan. Hi. I see. I see. Like we've obtained some pretty valuable testimonies based on that. It seems like My hero also beat that game. Hmm. Why? Why do you know that? You don't know? If she had, she wouldn't have chosen these people to talk to. Cause she beat the game. She talked to the people who appeared in that game. <laughs> Just like what we're doing right now. But still. But in her case, it was much more serious. Probably. I mean, she was forced to learn that she was involved in that game. That's true. But I'm surprised. I never thought Mahito would play that game. It's true. That was unexpected. Nagito, did you tempt her to, into playing that game? Huh? Huh? What? I remember. Anyway, what happened to Mahiru? Did she leave anything? Did she leave saying she had some business to take care of? Huh? Why do you know that? Wait. You tempted her, right? Just like you did to me. Who me? Tempt? That's a rude thing to say. No, that's wrong. That's disrespectful towards me here. All I asked was that she get me some bagels. There's no way her feelings would change just because a useless guy like me tempted her. Mm. At that time, she was already considered giving that game a try. All I did was give her a little push. It's obvious. That's all it was. What the heck? Well... But more importantly, isn't it better if we listen to what she has to say? She's being as quiet as ever. But I'm counting on you, Kyoko. The witch. <laughs> and Mahiru spoke to everyone who appeared in the game. She should have talked to you too, right? Right? The ellipses. Well, Hiyoko? <laughs> she never talked to me at all. That's weird. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Surprise! So, I'm just gonna go back to my cottage now. Hey, Yoko! Ignore my voice, Yoko ran away as though she were avoiding me. It's okay to say she ran away. Yeah, she's clearly suspicious. That's pretty much decided. Decided? Now then. Regardless, it looks like we're finished here, so why don't we part ways for now? There's still something I need to investigate. Bye now. I'll see you again later, Hajime. Uh, hey. What the heck is this problem? Even his exit was pushy. Oh. Chiaki, what should we do? Should we go back to the scene of the crime one more time and investigate? Hmm. It's very important to investigate the scene of the crime. But let's go over to Mahiru's cottage first. Mahiru's cottage? If she beat that game, it's best if we investigate there. 
I think. Mostly I just want to scalp her merch. Or, uh, she might have that. Oh, the ending prize. If that's the case, I'll go with you. You're okay with that, right? Mm, uh... That's your cue to say yes. <laughs> so, we're gonna, like, chase Kyoko now, or...? Pull something. I thought there was- thought did we get this one? Yeah, I thought we were going to, uh, Dead Girl's house. Yeah, I was just like, I was wondering if that pineapple was like a I know, I was, thing. I was nah, I thought one thing. always came out of here, but I guess we already got it. Oh, there it is. Okay, you can't yeah. click on the pineapple, then... No, yeah, I, I guess we, we either already got it or I'm losing my mind. I swore yeah. there was one there. Alright. There is a prompt click on the airplanes, I think. Yeah, but that doesn't, that doesn't think. really tell us. We're, we're looking for a Monokuma doll, though. Oh, okay. You have a nice super zoom mode? <laughs> okay, uh, uh Mahiru's cottage is on the girl side, so. Mahiru's cottage. It should be on this side in the very back. How did she get here back? Wait. We look super oh, zoomed. wait. Hers in color. The door <laughs> looks unlocked. Uh-oh, moving after your hey, children would be two-third rate, so I made sure to be one step ahead. However, removing what's inside is a huge no-no. There are others who want to investigate, too. I guess I should go inside. Jesus Christ, Monokuma. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. My cat bit my foot. Go to my room. The cottage had a somewhat pleasant smell wafting through the room. Camera stuff. That proves Mahiru is here. But she's not coming back. Um, then I should... Try looking for a naughty book. Uh, well, uh, why? No, no. I was only kidding. Kidding? Are you that kind of person? Jeez. Well, at least I don't feel nervous anymore. Wait, could that be the reason she said that? But... It looks like we don't need to search for it. Check out that thing on top of the bed. Top of the bed? You mean this Monokuma doll right here? No. Oh shit. I thought it was just Monokuma just supervising the whole area. Nah, right. Monokuma doll. There's an envelope on top of the bed. Hey, hey. Could it be? This might be it. The ending prize Monokuma gave to the first person who beat that game. Um, What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. I turned over the envelope and what came falling out was... A few photos. Uh, uh, this photo. This is... A photo of Mikan, Ibuki, Hyo and Hyoko in what appears to be some sort of entrance hall. It's just like that game. There was a similar scenario during the first day in Twilight's True Edition. Girl B was in a bad mood because Girl A was late, and Girl D tried to cheer her up by taking her picture, and not a flashbang. <laughs> not a flashbang. <laughs> she activated like light mode on Discord. Could have flashed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mo, what is what is that? I've never heard of it. Dude, it's the best. It keeps you awake at night. Is this the photo she took? That is so creepy. The hallways look like the game. Look at this photo, too. Look at this photograph. A broken boss. Is that? The same photo Girl D showed Girl E on the third day. As I recall, a broken vase was in the classroom next to the music room. But still. But this photo was more shocking. Shaki showed the photo to me. I was shut. I was stunned in a silence. What? 
This is an actual photo of a dead body. Since there's a piano behind the body, it looks like it's in the music room. If that's the case... Holy shit, she looks like Priya Hiko. Could this be the photo of the first victim? You mean it's the victim of the murder that occurred on the first day? Oh. Yeah, the one they blamed on a pervert. And one more. This is the last photo. Oh, snap. Ugh. This is probably the photo of girl E after she got killed on the fourth day. I mean, it nearly matches her body in the game. Wait, is that a real photo of somebody? It looks like a yeah. real person, yeah. I think I think I think it's a shot that they took for the game. I like how this one's this right. a fictional person. You can't affiliate it with anybody who's actually. Yeah, the metal bat looks fake though. Yeah. E. Yeah, there's no mistake. This is a photo of girl E. Sorry, it, it just looks like it's it's funny to use a reference photo for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> with that, we finished looking at all the photos. Based on all these photos. Yeah, it seems pretty clear. This is the ending prize. This is the ending prize for beating Twilight, and what's depicted in these photos proves that Twilight Center murder case is based on an actual murder. But does that mean that stuff about our memories being stolen? Huh? What's this? Is there something else? There's a note inside the envelope. Okay, I'll read it. Try playing Try Twilight, it. Syndrome. Twilight Syndrome. After you get a game over, press down five times for the real game. Once you do, you should remember what you all did to my sister. Oh, damn. Oh, snap. We'll talk clearly, then. Clearly, for you, here you go. What the fuck? Wait, but how would he remember that? This note. He could have beaten the game. Wait. Time out. Oh. Maybe the first person to beat the game and receive the ending prize was it Mahiru. Someone else sent this to Mahiru, and that person is the one who actually received the ending prize. Mahiru wasn't just lured there by Nagito, she also received this envelope. Yep. And that's why she played that game, right? And the person who played the game first was... This envelope looks very familiar. And the word sister written in the note. Based on these clues, I can't think of anyone other than him. He was holding that envelope when we, like, Yeah, we, ago. like, approached him and he's like, hey, man, hey, hey. leave me alone. Yep, I'm glad we came here to investigate. Because we did that, we discovered a very important clue. Yeah, I agree. But there's still one thing left. We have to find out who actually killed Mahiru. Not much time left. I need to hurry. Okay, <laughs> what a coincidence! It's something that happens twice, third time's a charm, so they say. What a coincidence. Are you a stalker or something? Now, now. But don't say that. I was just thinking about filling you in on the results of my investigation. Results? Did you find something? I'll let you know if you drop to your knees and lick my shoes. God damn. What? Huh? Just kidding. I was joking. All right, Dan Schneider. <laughs> yes, fucking licking fetish. Didn't sound like a joke to me. Actually, it's not the footprints. Actually, the killer left their footprints in front of the beach house, right? Did you find out whose footprints those are? If you want to know, I highly recommend you come to the beach house with me. With you. Of course, you'll come with me, right? No. <laughs> I don't trust him as far as I can throw him, but if I can get a clue... Light, Hajime. You can throw me far. What are you gonna do, Chiaki? I'm gonna try to talk to Fuyuhiko and see if he can tell me anything. So I'll leave this to you. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. 
If someone like me tried to talk to him, it'd be impossible. But it might be different with a girl. With a girl? Just be careful that he doesn't get rough with you. Yep. I guess this is where we part. I'll see you later, Hajime. What? Huh? Did you actually want her to stay? Actually, what do you mean? Bye now. Let's go. I'll go on ahead to the beach house and wait there. He's like, she was cramping her style, man. Some <laughs> disaster characters. energy. Goddamn. I know. Fuck. Good Lord. Fuck, 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 fuck the fan art depicting you two together. I'm all you need, Hajime. <laughs> Some serious OTP wars there, Jesus. I know, right? Like, all right. Uh, where? Oh, oh, there yeah. it is. <laughs> all right. There oh, it is. No. Oh no. Now then. Let's try going inside. Oh, some kitty. My cat's okay, trying. I'm oh. They're all still here. <laughs> Nagito. Whoa. Justin? Justin. Justin. Whoa! Why the hell are you here? Hello there. Why hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. <laughs> Thanks to you, I was able to walk away with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. <laughs> what the heck? Ugh, this bastard! Um, you two have arrived at a good time. You bet. Big news! I've discovered something very terrible. Why are a you so happy? Terrible discovery. Um, <laughs> not only that, I believe it's nothing like Sonia's, but there's something um I noticed too. You too, Mika. <laughs> yeah, this is great. I think the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Mika first. Mika. Nikon, you had something to say too, right? Well, compared to others, what I have to say is not really that important. So, so please don't get your hopes up and, and be all disappointed and all. I get it, so just get on with it. Um, so I tried my best to perform the autopsy, but but I was able to find out Mahiru was definitely killed by a blow to head. No way. No way. <laughs> She was she was probably struck from behind by one blow. B -b Based on the scar, the the, the weapon was clearly the me metal bat. But 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 every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. Um, it looks like she didn't suffer. What does that mean? Nobody says uh, that. Um. There's there's no doubt that she died instantly. Her death was instant. Sounds a little strange. I think I should remember that. thing I found. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry I started talking on my own. Were you busy right now? Just tell me. Um, during the autopsy I discovered this in my hero's pocket. I was going to tell you this in person, but I couldn't find you, so put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Hiyoko Sanji. This letter. If this letter is real, it would mean... Yoko met up with Mahiro, right? Plus, Mahiro's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m. and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about what that implies, then... Oh, I'm starting to get confused. That's true, what does it mean? What happened between Mahiro and Yoko? Took my Pokemon cards. Got him in at the closet, God damn it! I miss fire. <laughs> no, and he even follows me to the closet. What's he doing in here? Ajime. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he follow me to the closet? We should have talked to him just to see what oh, he had dear. to say. You want, you want to come out of the closet, Hajime? Huh? Listen, I have big news. Huge, 
huge news. What's the big news? See? Remember that Sun Witch Esper Ito mask that was next to Mahito's body? Oh, the mask the killer used to hide their face. No, that is not correct. That mask was not just used to hide their face. Then what was it for? Well, sparkling justice. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, your reaction. Uh, <clears throat> Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed ally of justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they're a serial killer who only murders other criminals. Huh? That is an order! Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need to be surprised. <laughs> hey. This Sparkling Justice character... That's the serial killer you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, but... Wow! It is a heroine mask, to be precise. Sun Witch Esper Ito is a pretty witch girl. See? A heroine! Anyway... <laughs> anyway... You're saying it's possible that the serial killer is the one who killed Mahidu? Hmm. Which means, there's a serial killer hiding among us, like Genocide Jack from the previous game? Hmm. I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> serial killer, my ass. The, the killer you just used it to cover their face. That's weird. But even so, they sure chose something that stands out. That might be true, but... Although it's easy to write off this as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sonia, can you tell me everything you know about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil! The hell? Isn't that redundant to say malevolent evil? Justice Sonia knows a lot. The center of justice that is pierced by justice! Oh wow. Justice! Sparkling justice! So, she's like a witch and also watch a lot of ID. What the heck Man. was that? It sounds like Jiren. That is Sparkling Justice catchphrase. What? An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase. Do you have a minute? I read it in a magazine in the library. There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in their native language, so I tried translating it. However... However, in the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice, too. Damn. So sure, I'll take an interview. <laughs> Give me a reason. <laughs> no good can come from getting involved with a serial killer. That's right! Get this woman away from me! Ha <laughs> ha! And the serial killer might not want to hear that from you. Um, um, this is all I know about sparkling justice. Thanks to the masks, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Hey, isn't that kind of a stretch? To say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group. Listen. No, it does not mean they are in our group. It is possible the serial killer was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahidu. Wow. It's probably not possible. Uh, Sounds like something a hack would write. But that's the only thing I can think of. I mean, no matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. Uh, that one of us is capable of committing a horrible murder. No matter how much I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. S Sonia, I I do understand Sonia's feelings, but it's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer on this island. Hiding on this island. Uh, right. What else do we have? We gotta talk uh, to Nagito again. Hey, tell me what you know already. Didn't you find who's those, who's blue, bleh, whose footprints those were? I need more sleep. Actually, how were you able to find that out? 
After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I went to a certain place. Well, it's probably better to say I snuck in. <laughs> to everyone's cottages. Aren't they locked? Everyone's cottages. Yep. I told Monokuma I needed access for the investigation, so he simply let me in. What the fuck? <laughs> Bastard, he did something shady again. Now then. But why did I do something like that? Well, I'll explain my reasoning to you. I was in a panty raid, okay? Naruto and squatted down near the entrance to the beach house and began to spread some papers he was holding. See? Uh, so, come on, Hajime, take a look. After all, I went to the trouble of gathering all this. These are feet pics. Th those foot pants. Those foot <laughs> Oh my god, they have See, feet pics. So the reason you snuck inside everyone's cottages was... To update wiki feet, of course. That's right. I want to get a sample of everybody's footprints. But fortunately, Fuyahiko couldn't leave his wouldn't leave his college, so I couldn't complete it. <laughs> well, I guess it's no big deal. It seems obvious that the footprint belongs to this person. Whose footprints are they? Yep. Yoko Sayanji. Yoko's. Well. To be honest, the reason I summoned her to the airport was so I could lure her out of her cottage. She shut herself inside her cottage. Remember, if she stayed in there, I couldn't sneak in. Perhaps. So I figured I'd lure her out. She wouldn't be in a hurry to go back to her cottage. You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> <laughs> but it was totally worth it. Oh, yeah. The footprint I collected there was much smaller than anyone else's. It matched the footprints at the beach house. Yep, there's no mistake. These are Hiyoku Sanji's footprints. I like how just, like, her footprints are literally just, like, oval. Um, yeah. They're... I mean, she's wearing, like, those... Oh, oh yeah, the sandals? Yeah. yeah. Also, it's not like I was snooping around or anything, but I found something really interesting at her cottage. Something interesting. See? I found a lot of these candies inside her room. That's... They're gummy candies that come in four different flavors. Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. That's what she got from the supermarket. Apparently she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only brought home a bunch of these. <laughs> people are like that sometimes. There are people who only eat the same brand, even just potato chips. Just like me with Doritos. What's wrong with that? Well, it's not clear this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. I feel attacked. Just in case, and from this guy, that means it probably greatly relates to the incident. Oh yeah, Doritos and cheese. All right. Bing dong, bing dong. The time for a hedonism has come to an end. Wow. Come now. Oh, I think it's me, you babe. The hostility of it, it's voice. The insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up in front of oh. Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. I'm not I'll so see fucking you secret soon. now, bitch. <laughs> I know, right? Secret. It turns out the secret entrance was in a different place, and that's under it's under the rock now. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation's over. So it's finally starting, the class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will finally clash. <laughs> but it's all right! Either way, hope will win in the end! All right! Now then, let's go prove it! <sighs> uh, what you so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There's no escape. There is no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we walk, as we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahiri's body. All right. Did you guys want to go a little bit further, or um, save here and continue next week and get Mahiru's uh, uh, logs in? Whatever you want to call them, social links. Free, her free time events. Yeah, her not social links. Completely yeah, yeah. original. Uh, definitely not the same thing stolen from persona. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, they're like under the same. Uh, well, no, they're not. Axis isn't isn't under the same um, same branch. But, okay. Sorry, sorry, gonna.